Hey guys, this is Sadat and you're watching College Companion. जहाँ हम बात करते हैं lesson on colleges, college degrees and career options के बारे में. So if you are interested in any of these, hit the subscribe button and like भी कर दो यार. Because this is going to be very interesting for you guys. आज हम बात करने वाले हैं COGJET 2022 के बारे में. So here we go. So over the last two three weeks since I put on LinkedIn that I have been pursuing a degree in cognitive science at IIT Delhi, I have been receiving various you know queries regarding COGJET exam, how to prepare for it, what is it about, and everything with regards to that. So I thought that you know because the pattern has changed over the last two years that you know it would be better if I don't respond to that queries right now and you know get some idea of how it's going to be this way before I help uh, people out. Turns out it was the right way because there is a big news on COGJET 2022 which has been released just two three days back I think it was on September 2 that this big update came. Before sharing that update with you let me tell you what COGJET is about or what mean karta hai. So COGJET means Cognitive Science joint entrance test and ye exam conduct hota hai nationally to help people be eligible for masters program in cognitive science across few of the top institutes of the countries and these institutes include IIT Kanpur, IIT Delhi, uh, CBCS Allahabad, IIIT Hyderabad which does not have a masters program in cognitive science yet but they do use the score for their PhD entrance and Punjab University which again does not have a full-fledged master's course in Cognitive Science they have a diploma course so these are the five places that has been using Cognitive score for making students you know go through the shortlist and then be eligible for interview so in this way Cognitive score in institutes ne, uh, students ko interview ke liye shortlist ke liye abhi tak use kiya hai. so this is what Cognitive has been about till 2021 and then comes 2nd September and things change a lot that is the big news so on 2nd September IIT Kanpur which was the conducting body for cognitive science entrance exam in the last year comes up with this notification they write please note that we will not be holding COGJET 2022 that means this year COGJET ka entrance nahi hoga so separate entrance jo abhi hota aaya hai wo is year nahi hoga and further they write that students who wish to apply for MS or PhD programs in Cognitive Science should appear for GATE or CSIR or JRF or NET or other equivalent exam in related disciplines. So this is the big update, the bombshell that IIT Kanpur just dropped. So what is the meaning of this? We are trying to understand this. First of all, the last year the situation thi, every institute had this COGJET criteria and some institutes were taking GATE and other exams into consideration as well. For example, IIT Delhi and IIT Kanpur, they were, you know, shortlisting candidates on basis of other entrance exams. CBCS Allahabad, as long as I remember, was only using COGJET as a criteria and uh, so now things will change. Now CBCS would also have to come up with this other eligibility criteria. They would also have to consider other exams as well, which includes the holy list that you heard just now. So I think a kafi acha step hai. Uh, it sort of gives you a flexibility to prepare for say gate in your area, and uh, that will open the doors not for just a cognitive science related degree but also for a master's degree in your own domain or PhD degree in your own domain so I think this will help you to focus only on one particular subject instead of the five or six that comes under the COGJET umbrella so if you are a psychology student you can just concentrate on studying for psychology in gate if you are a computer science student you can possibly limit your study preparations to computer science so this is the big news guys and i think this is the perfect time for you take a couple of weeks to really go through what these other entrances are about and 
make a point of focusing on uh, at least one of these particularly and uh, yeah that should be the way to go about it first you sort of shortlist an exam that you want to prepare for and then you know totally just focus on that i think what will also help is to see the shortlisting criteria that different institutes followed besides the cogjet score so if you check out the iit kanpur website so you can see that they have taken gate score as a criteria they have taken ugc net mbbs cftii as a criteria so you can just check the eligibility here and have some idea of the level of rank you need in these exams or the level of score you need then there is iit delhi and it has its own cut off so you can get some idea from here as well i really hope this news and this video was helpful for you and my instagram my linkedin has been flooding with queries so i hope this will help put most of the questions to rest i wish you all the best and i hope to make more such videos so please 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 do subscribe and like the video uh, in case you have have any questions comment is your friend and i'll try to reply as soon as possible see you in the next video